I am Dr. Tushar Patel, Medical Oncologist from Sayadri Hospital, Pune. This month, October, is celebrated as Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Friends, we all know the incidence of breast cancer is rising. In countries like America or European countries, the incidence of breast cancer is 1 in 8 for every female in her entire lifetime. In urban cities like Pune, this incidence is 1 in 22 at present and it is sharply rising. The rise is contributed by multiple factors including hormonal factors and also genetic factors. The commonest age group that we see in India for breast cancer is at least 10 years younger to the common age group that is seen in American or developed countries. It's a matter of concern that the incidence is rising because first that our patients come to us in quite advanced stages. Almost 30 to 40 percent of our patients are detected in stage 4 as compared to western countries where more than 70 to 80 percent are detected in early stages where it can be easily cured by minimal treatments. The second is that the biology of the disease in Asian population and in Indian population is supposed to be quite aggressive and hence it portends a poor prognosis for our patients especially in India with limited resources that we have and patients coming late to us. Coming to the diagnosis of breast cancer, it's very simple. Mammography gives us an idea about the breast architecture and its deformities and whether the lesion seen could be benign or cancerous. When mammography is doubtful, a sonomammography is added to it. Today's digital mammography has made our job simpler for us to read the x-rays and give us a probable diagnosis. It is read on a scale where it can tell us whether it's a normal, benign, likely cancer or highly suggestive of cancer. For all suspected cases in mammography, the second comes is the diagnosis by tissue that is FNSE or biopsy. Today usually a biopsy is preferred for diagnosis because it gives us a complete idea of whether it's a cancer or not. In which we also do higher molecular studies to know whether it's a biologically low grade or less invasive disease or a biologically aggressive disease. Once the diagnosis of breast cancer is done, the third thing is, which we do is staging. Staging we can do by multiple means. It could be X-ray ultrasounds or CT scans or PET scan. For all locally advanced diseases where uh, we have doubtful, may have metastasis or spread to other organs, we usually ask for a PET scan to be done so that our job becomes simpler in terms of finalizing the treatment. For the treatment part, we all know that three or four treatments are very important. First is surgery, second is chemotherapy, third is radiation and fourth is hormonal treatment. Wherever surgery is possible and the tumor is quite early stage, usually surgery is performed. Two kinds of surgeries are known. One is modified radical mastectomy that is complete removal of the breast tissue and the axillary lymph nodes and the second is breast conserving surgery. Today, wherever possible, conserving surgery is being done with equally good results with the use of oncoplastic techniques, breast surgeons and plastic surgeons coming together and retaining the shape and the feminine image giving us the same results as a modified radical mastectomy would have been done. So from an earlier stage of 80% to 90% going for complete removal, we are now moving towards a, a stage where most of the places or situations the breast can be, can be conserved with similar results. This has been the advance in surgical technique. Coming to chemotherapy, it has become much more efficient, much less complicated without major side effects and most of them being done in the daycare. So nausea, vomiting, hair loss, mouth ulcers, WBC being low has become a thing of past and most of the patients can actually tolerate the chemotherapy. Even elderly population can tolerate it really well. With the help of cooling caps now available in India and being used in many cancer centers including Sayadri Hospital Pune, the incidence of hair loss also has gone down and many cases the hair loss can be prevented. Of course, the hair loss is not irreversible it reverses usually on its own after two to three months of completion of chemotherapy. With the use of supportive treatments, anti-emetics and WBC injections, most of the other dreaded complications of chemotherapy have come down by more than 95%.
it's become more of a pleasant experience third thing which has happened is that more precise chemotherapy and more efficient chemotherapy has come into uh, practice many of these uh, aggressive diseases like her2 positive breast cancer require something called as targeted therapy or chemoimmunotherapy and that has become the norm in today's era to get the best results even highly aggressive tumors most of them can be tamed down and cured with a cure rate of more than 80% or 90% in the early stages with the advent of generic medicines the cost of these highly expensive medicines has come down by more than 80% and most of the indian population can now afford these medicines we have also come to a stage where few of these patients uh, indolent patients uh, like er positive and her2 negative breast cancer can be totally avoided chemotherapy after the surgery so we after the surgery we do something called as a risk scoring for the tumors and if the risk is low most of these patients do not require chemotherapy they can be straight away put for hormonal therapy and given the uh, hormonal therapy for an extended period all these decisions are made with the help of diagnostic nomograms some advanced molecular testing and of course the patient and the doctor talking to each other and discussing the pros and cons of all the features of the tumor per se the third treatment that is radiation therapy again has advancements unlimited so today with the advanced radiation the damage to the other structures like heart or lungs is minimum and most of these patients can do well with the help of radiation advanced techniques so we have discussed the surgery the chemotherapy and the radiation all and all these advances a few of these cancers like triple negative breast cancer which are supposed to be very very aggressive do behave aggressively and have a tendency or a chance to come back and hence a follow up of these patients is extremely important all the patients once they have completed the treatment part are supposed to follow up with their oncologist 3 to 6 monthly and do some scans or some mammographies as uh, as per the required interval even if the disease crops up somewhere maybe one or two places like in brain or somewhere it can easily be tamed or tackled with the advanced treatments like radiation stereotactic brachytherapy or brachyradiotherapy that is available or stereotactic radio surgery that is available to us and these can still be controlled really well so there is a ray hope ray of hope in every stage of cancer but the most important part being the sooner the patient comes to us the more that the patient will have a cure and less the chances that the disease will come back one very important part to highlight is prevention mammography is one tool which has made a tremendous difference in prevention or secondary prevention that is early diagnosis and treatment of breast cancer a mammography detected breast cancer is much smaller in size it also gives us information about the pre cancerous diseases like dcis where it can be removed and a further occurrence of a cancer can be prevented all females who are 40 years and above are recommended to have mammography at least once in 2 years preferably once in a year for patients who have got a genetic history of uh, malignancy breast cancer or ovarian they need to consult their geneticist and their oncologist to know the exact age when they should start screening themselves for breast cancer friends early stage cancers are curable even uh, stage 2 stage 3 breast cancers are highly curable with the uh, newer medicines that we have today our appeal to all people would be to come forward if they have symptoms even if they do not have symptoms they should do mammography as per the recommended time interval and the age group for any queries you may contact us on the given numbers the numbers will be highlighted below thank you